So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can override your WooCommerce template. As an example, I added a QR code in the order receive or a thank you page. And yeah, a reason really why I came up with this tutorial because I'm having a hard time lately to see the changes that I did. And like the functions that PHP, I don't think that worked because I already tried that. There's a correct way as well of copying the file to your themes. So that's why I just really want this to show with you. So anyway, to copy or to tweak to your WooCommerce, it's a mandatory that you need to have a child theme. Every time the, the WooCommerce version get updated, your changes will not be um, re affected as well. So go back to your dashboard and go to the appearance section and make sure that the DB child theme is activated or you have a child theme. If you don't know how child theme works i have a tutorial for that or you can also download my pre-made child theme i'm gonna put the link description below for you to download both extra and dv themes if you are requesting for another theme then let me know comment down below and we'll try to add that on the blog so i'm going to activate that child theme there and then we will also install a uh a plugin temporarily called this one, WP File Manager. So once we're already done copying the files into using the WP File Manager, we can then deactivate this one. Or if you're comfortable working on a local IDE, then that would be um, a great choice instead of working or changing your um, file into the live website. So anyway, um, the goal really, so I already actually already remove this so if i refresh this one the this is the main this is the default way of how the order received looks like so let's just pretend that we were going to add a qr code in here because this is a gcash thing and we i want to add a qr thing for the gcash so they can easily purchase and make order and pay their order so um to do that again you need to activate this one you need to also have child theme and then if we go into the woocommerce sections in here um actually plug in a file editor this is obviously um it is already default in the new wordpress and then you go into the woocommerce you'll see these sections in here called templates and these are all the templates that woocommerce um created and it is tweakable let's say you have this um single product that can be tweakable even the search page can be tweakable as well and taxonomy product tag now the goal of this of course is we want to tweak the um ordered received or the thank you page so what you will do is go into the checkout options and go into the um thank you so again we're not just limited on tweaking the thank you page but really all of these templates in here that woocommerce created okay so we'll go into the wp file manager and this is very the important part because lately i'm really having hard time why my um woocommerce is not uh, WooCommerce, my changes in the template is not reflecting because what I did is I um, go into the child theme and I do something like this, like um, new folder, WooCommerce, and then okay, oh, WooCommerce. So you need to put the WooCommerce into your child theme. And then what I did before, which really takes me time, why my changes is not reflecting on the child theme, is I added another word or another folder called templates. Okay, I added a word called templates. Now, that is not the right way of copying it. You need to remove the word templates and just straightly go in to the checkout or all of the templates in here. So this is um, WooCommerce, so you need to exclude this templates folder and just copy and just um, make sh and and then just copy uh, the file that you 
want to override. So it's okay if you copy the folder called uh, like emails folder. That's fine as long as you exclude the parent theme called template. So since I'm going to change the checkout or the thank you page, I will then go in in here. WooCommerce and instead of having another templates folder, I can straightly rename it or use checkout. OK, so here we are. Key of the template is WooCommerce templates and then check out. But for the DV or for the child theme, it should be WooCommerce. Exclude the template folder, straightly go into the checkout and then copy this. Um, what do you call that? This thank you one. So um, to copy it, you can still use the WP file manager. We'll go back to the plugin and go to the WooCommerce and go to the templates and go to the checkout and then copy okay and go back to the template again um go back to the child theme brother and will commerce checkout and then paste it okay make sure you follow the right hierarchy otherwise your checkout will not or your changes on the PHP file will not work. Okay, so once we're done, we can then start editing or adding some stuff into our checkout page. So currently, this is a template. This is the, the default template of the checkout. Now, if I want to add uh, maybe an image here, so um, let's edit this one. Right click and code editor again i don't really recommend to use this one as a live you know you're editing in a live um server i still recommend to use ide and just upload the file um the changes that you have done to avoid um some errors i already have this image in here so basically this page this thank you that page PHP is obviously created in PHP so if you want to put that um maybe before the thank you thing we need to put it in we need to put it after the closing PHP okay or even in the opening PHP as long as it doesn't interfere the the pr prior um code and then this is the so copy that Save and close. So it's already here. So obviously we need to make that cleaner. I need to do a lot of changes in here. I probably need to come up with two QR code, change this one and make it this bigger, make it more cleaner. So yeah, the goal of this tutorial is just helping you how you can um, update your, you can override the templates in WooCommerce. And the other thing as well I want to highlight is in case you want to change the, let me go back to the plugin area and go to the WooCommerce section. Um, yeah, so in case you also just want to change the, like the archive, you don't need to create another folder, but you can just copy paste it and straightly go in. So copy um, DV WooCommerce instead of having a checkout folder or another folder since it's, outside the folder of the WooCommerce, you can just paste it there. So yeah, hope it works. And if you have any question, don't forget to comment down below. And of course, if you're liking this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification to receive new videos from me.